Hi, welcome to Hardware Unboxed. I'm your host Matt and today we're looking at Corsair's new H100i GDX cooler. The H100i GDX is their latest and greatest closed loop design in their Hydro Series Extreme Performance Cooling line. And big brother to the best selling H100i GT with a brand new cooling block and updated aesthetics. It features a double wide 240mm radiator and two PWL controlled fans which should be plenty to dissipate all of that nasty heat. Before we take a look at performance and find out, let's open up the box and take a look. Alrighty, so up top we've got this little warranty guide, the instruction manual, and a thin layer of white foam. These here are the two 120mm fans. You can actually control the fan speed manually with the Corsair Link digital software. And the box reports that they spin up to about 2400 RPM. Here we've got the big 240mm radiator, which fits the 220mm fans. We've got screw holes on both sides, so if you've got room in your case, you can do push-pull fan mounting. Attached to the two flexible black Raider cooling hoses, which feel really nice and soft. As you'll see, these actually go directly into the cooling block. This does seem a bit clunky, but they do twist around pretty easily. Then you've just got the fan power cords attached that go into what is the right side of the cooling block. Now the cooling block itself looks pretty snazzy. We've got this nice Corsair emblem on top and there is an RGB LED underneath which you can, uh, can actually control the color in the Corsair Digital Link software. If we take a look at the bottom, um, you notice it's actually round. Now finally, in this packet, we've got the modular mounting brackets for both Intel and AMD sockets, as well as the USB cable, so you can link up to the Corsair software. For our benchmarks, we ran that H100i GDX on performance mode, which never actually spun the fans up any higher than 2100 RPM. We tested the H100i GDX on a Core i7-4790K, and our idle the system ran at just 24 degrees, and that was in an ambient room temperature of 21 degrees. In comparison, the Intel stock cooler ran at 34 degrees, so a pretty big difference. And for those interested, the previous H100i GT model ran at 27 degrees. Under full load using Prime95 for 20 minutes, the GDX got up to only 61 degrees, which is considerably better than the 69 degrees that the H100i ran at. Not to mention the 90 plus degrees that the standard Intel cooler allowed the 4790 to hit. We really liked the easy installation of the H100i GTX and it was good to see that performance was really good across the board, not just with the fans spinning at their full loud 2400 RPM. Performance wise it was a slight step up from the H100i GT but whether or not it's worth the extra money, that's up to you to decide. What I can say, however, is that the GDX certainly is one of the best all-in-one liquid coolers that you can buy. Thanks for watching Hardware Unboxed. I'm your host, Matt. If you liked the product as much as we did, hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.